waiting on. Huh? Lads, I find your concern touching. I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilmar. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me arse in my stead. My guards lament, witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I have a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to... Uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behaviour to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then war will be me. Count Belladol? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <coughs> well, that was my grandpapa. Dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them, save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. There's also Clarissa who... Vilma, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastysomac. It, uh, it captures uh, likenesses. Paris, to what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and... Uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed. Pretty unusual contract. I couldn't agree more, yes. And I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive. Sublime! With a deal! Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. 
It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let's. The light seems perfect just now. Every last man jack in these parts has but one win of the brain. Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. Truthfully, Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings. Believe me, they're overprotective. Uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife. Preserve it. Not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper for you. But as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's, it's of the utmost importance to me, in fact. says there should be panthers around here. <sighs> Heard something. Grunting, panting. Something like a bear. Ooh. I'm not the least bit eager to go face to mug with a bear. We should move on. Hear that? Panthers. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. Sent you share my love for animals. Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I dabble in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures, day in and day out. Got a wife? Yes. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing. Just asking. Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. We shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Tread lightly. Giant centipede sends the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. Ah. 
How about here? I don't know. Isn't it a bit close? Right. We'll find another spot. Seems like a safe spot. Safe, perhaps. But it offers no fume whatsoever. Hmm. Fine. We'll keep looking. Here, maybe. Distance seems right. Light's not bad either. Yes. This will work perfectly. Can you lure them out? Give me a minute. Need to think. Vibrations. Gotta send some through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out. Don't get any closer. Excellent day for capturing moments. <laughs> Truly magnificent, that one. We can move on now. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I've one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself. And I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. I was wondering, why peacocks? My... my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. Oh, that 
tales. Lovely. Now, if they could just splay the tales. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Ready! Use your magic, Witcher! Masterpiece! Smile, please! Giant centipedes! Damn it! Where did they come from? Must have followed us. Get back! That was... that was... tense. I, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. What a wonderful adventure! Get everything you wanted? Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads? There was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our dear Count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarice is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. They's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I've one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankelar. I'll be by. See you. to do before it gets dark. The wilds of Tucson are the innumerable sunlight captured. Its picturesque meadows and untouched woodlands are home to one of the most dangerous species of New York. Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs, yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. 
cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. You are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. Talk to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I mean to pass through Dol Blathana. They say one can see Sylvans there. Yeah, actually happened to no one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise, and must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Uh, Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting, just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more intense someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. Nice meeting you. So long now. <laughs>